Hello friends, welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's video, I will show you guys how I made this GPS based Arduino powered or uh, self driving car. Now if you guys might remember and if you guys have watched it, this is my second video about this car. Last time around there was some problems and unfortunately it was not satisfactory. The ground was not very perfect and stuff. So I'm remaking this project entirely from scratch once again. So if you guys didn't watch my last video, don't worry, I'll explain everything once again. So the principle is quite simple. Or at the heart of the process, we have this Arduino Mega. This is an original Arduino Mega. In this case, I'm using however you can use a compatible boards as well. I'd recommend using the Mega for a few reasons. I'll tell, talk more about those in just a minute. Other than that, it uses two things for, uh, tran uh, for uh, successfully reaching from point A to point B. First is this GPS. This is a Neo 6M V2. I'm using with its antenna, I mounted it onto this little piece for a, a little bit better view. Uh, so this is what gets it its coordinates, its current location. And I am using an HMC 5883L compass up here, which is giving it its direction. So that combines with the uh, GPS to basically know where, which way it is facing, where it is supposed to go. It The microcontroller controls it and then it can basically send signals to the two motors so the way we are driving this is we are a dual motor system we are just simply using differential torque uh, to uh, drive the motors the motors are controlled via this l298n board this is controlled via the arduino mega uh, so that gives signals to both the motors separately depending on where you want to go you know turn left turn right whatever uh, from front we just have this uh, little caster wheel assembly thingy so this allows the wheel to just simply swivel this way or that way or go forward wherever it wants to go. So combined all this can successfully make this uh, craft, uh, this vehicle move uh, on its own. Now I will talk just a bit more about that when I will show you guys the working of this in just a few minutes. And now before that let's talk a little bit more about the wiring as well as the electronics. Uh, so the reason I said I would prefer the Mega is because we actually are using two serial ports as well as your other than your uh, standard usb port so i would recommend using the mega you can get away with something like an uno or a nano however what you will have to do is you will have to use one of the original cd one only you will get which is connecting to a usb so you have to remove that every time you want to uh, flash anything on this and then reconnect that and you'll have to use a soft serial for a second um second serial port why you need two you might ask quite simple actually we have one which is powering the gps and one for the bluetooth so let's just look into that in now so the bluetooth as you can see is a red and orange wire which is plugging into serial mo number two we are plugging to serial number two which is the, actually the third serial so serial zero is your communication with the computer usb chip uh, and serial one is actually called serial one is actually called serial wait no serial zero yeah serial number two is actually called serial number one which is connecting the gps uh, right here as you can see uh, sorry three which is connecting the gps which is the backward most pins two pins uh, which is going into the gps uh, you have to remember one thing is you have to connect the tx of the chips to the rx of the board and rx of the chips to the tx of the board uh, uh, tx to the rx and rx to the tx so basically where it writes tx here connected to the rx connect the rx of the board uh, tx of the board to the rx of the chips that's basically it all you have to remember and then the backward backward most connection here the sda and scl these two are connecting on to the hmc compass uh, i'll talk just a bit about this in just a second so for power i'm just powering the gps as well as the compass using the uh, uh, five volt pins on the back of this back uh, like the digital communication part there's two five volts up here to ground down there uh, for covering the gps i'm using the 3.3 volt as well as the ground header on the power rail one more thing uh, there is this pin uh, this ground pin going into pin number 13 this is for turning on and off the motor so basically while you sit and wait for you gathering the gps or maybe setting the coordinates and stuff like that you can connect it to pin number 13 which will stop it from moving it will not allow it to move as soon as you remove this the uh, entire assembly starts moving it starts working all of a sudden uh, about the gps uh, sorry uh, about the compass uh, this compass although as you can see it writes as an hmc it's actually a qmc compass so that's a fake hmc now what i have done is actually i will leave 
links for HMC board as well as a QMC board down in the description so you guys can check those links out and whichever compass you have you can use that so if you say flash HMC doesn't work uh, your compass is not detected you can simply switch over to the QMC compass uh, code it should work perfectly fine then until unless you have uh, some fault in your uh, compass assembly so that's basically it for the wiring we'll quickly quickly switch over to the code and show you that now okay so I have now switched over to the code as you can see this is the computer code uh, so this has two codes uh, last time I got a few comments about how you can upload two codes so don't worry as long as they are in the same folder just uploading any one of this will upload both the codes at the same time so that's not a problem so Arduino Mega as mentioned uh, so let's start so some libraries you would need is the tiny gps plus library just the search up tiny gps plus on google or uh, you can search up on the library monitor thingy uh, they added uh, include library that is library manager uh, yeah that uh, other than that you need uh, QMC library or your HMC library depending on which compass you have so this is the QMC code I have opened up as you can see here uh, this is for the QMC compass as that is the one I am using so few things you want to change let's quickly brush over this this is a quite a big code I cannot explain the entire thing uh, otherwise this video will be very very long so let's quickly brush over so first things first heading tolerance this is the tolerance in degrees plus or minus you want to add change depending on how accurate your particular compass unit is so mine was not very accurate uh, it was not very inaccurate as well so 8 degrees seemed to be perfect fine so basically if you set it too low what will happen is it will try to over correct itself so it will see that okay you are maybe say if you set it to 5 say you are 6 degrees off it will try and correct itself end up over correcting and when we go to minus 6 degrees then vice versa so it keep jittering jittering around so change this to until to a point where it's stable enough but also quite accurate uh, GPS library and uh, for GPS we are using here other than the tiny GPS plus plus library so just for a few things we are referencing to the other for GPS library although mainly we are using the tiny GPS library uh, so that's it a uh, few things we are changing here these are your waypoints just put uh, waypoints in this uh, float box uh, just change these coordinates x and y respectively latitude longitude as you may call it uh, this is you want to stop change your uh, stop at a waypoint so i have set a five second stop to like stay at a waypoint as soon as you reach there you stop five seconds then you continue to the next waypoint change this if you wish you can change it to zero for no stop you can continue directly uh, waypoint distance tolerance this is the tolerance in meters to a waypoint this is how far you will reach depending on the location you are how many gps satellites you can lock your gps accuracy blah 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 uh, you can understand this you can change it as you wish same thing as the compass uh, this is the input pull up I was talking about the pin which you are going to change if you wish to change that although I really do not recommend changing much of anything in this case uh, your three serial libraries as mentioned serial uh, main serial which is connecting to the computer for debug serial 1 is for GPS serial 2 is for Bluetooth uh, now calibration right so calibration this is depends on which the compass you have go to your compass library in examples you can simply run this uh, compass calibration dot h library so calibration here uh, and then you can check it by putting in the azimuth to check whether you are getting accurate compasses or not for your HMC library there is a similar calibration uh, just run that get this code stick it on here you are good to go so rest all just don't have to change much of anything all this is just simply the running of the things printing values on serial checking where you are reading the compass dialing with the GPS current it's calculating the current positions targets uh, distance etc 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 uh, you're just doing a bunch of calculation bunch of math and you are basically finally coming here we're in the move robot so here we are setting your error output so if you are forward backward sharp right sharp left wherever you want to go you change it here that's basically it now i'm brushing over this a uh, much much more than i normally do in one of my videos so this is quite a high level project so as if you are attempting this i would expect that you have uh, uh, most of able to understand this so that's why i'm not really going into much detail about every single line on the code but if you need any help please feel free to comment down below i'll uh, i can uh, as soon as i'll see it i'll comment and i'll help you guys out so this is your motor library this is for driving the motors itself the motor pin standard so these are just uh, first times done so you set up your motors set them everything at output stop the motors from spinning uh, these are your different call functions so for moving forward moving backwards stopping right left sharp right type left so that's basically it this is a quite not a simple code 
but really uh, in theory in principle this is not a very complicated machine all it does is checks where it is where it has to go draws a straight line effectively checks where it is uh, in heading checks which heading it has to reach turns around intercepts the heading and basically keeps going forward until it reaches the point stop there does the same thing for the next weapon on and on and on that's basically it it's quite a simple project it's quite a simple theory in principle obviously in reality it's not at all that simple yeah it has quite a few hurdles to face uh, yes one more thing which i forgot to mention in my last video serial terminal so just simply search up any serial terminal on android uh, serial does not work very well on ios uh, in fact ios does not allow any kind of serial Bluetooth communication for some reason uh, anyways that's just apple things so uh, yeah just take an android phone android tab whatever search up serial communication serial terminal blah blah something like that you'll find many many bluetooth serial communication terminals just download any one you want connect it up to the hm hc05 uh, which is the uh, serial uh, the bluetooth module i'm using by the way forgot to mention that uh, yeah that's, that's basically it you'll be able to see your current waypoint uh, as well as the number of satellites and the target waypoint before you pull the plug after you have pulled the plug from the uh, thing you are uh, able to see the uh, distance to target your current heading target heading as well as your error heading so that's basically it quickly going to show you guys the uh, video of this guy working so let's get to it. this is the video of the robot working so let's play it. uh, it's pretty self-explanatory as you can see i pulled the digital pin 13 from there robot starts moving it was at position at one point it's trying to go to the waypoint so it corrects itself seeing the compass now it has reached the first waypoint so this is the scheduled five second stop as you can see after the stop it continues over to the next waypoint this is completely being controlled autonomously uh by oh i forgot to talk about power so for uh, powering the arduino and these other uh, systems i'm using a power bank as you can see the white color thing connecting directly via your usb cable uh, and for powering just the motors which are 12 volt i'm using a lithium polymer battery that's 11.1 volt 2200 million power lipo uh, that's directly being con connected via uh, two lines to your L298N and the L298N is not being fed 5 volt power from the uh, chip uh, oh this is just the robot getting stuck on the thick grass the wheels were not really meant for outdoor use so the robot kept getting stuck this here is not getting stuck it's a scheduled uh, 5 second stop at the waypoint number 2 there's 3 waypoints in this course as you see after this waypoint it is now proceeding to the next waypoint so this part here, uh, it just got a little stuck, so I had to move it uh, manually. The, again, the grass is very thick. Once again, getting stuck, this is not the way, next weapon. As you can see, I just have to help it out a bit. As it gets into deeper and deeper grass, just needs uh, to be pushed out because the front back wheel, as you can see, keeps spinning out. Uh, the grass just does not allow it to move at all. However, as you can see, uh, I was trying my best not to control it like not control it but in the sense that not to move it very much just let it be on its own path uh, yeah so to prove to you guys this is actually doing it on its own now this is super super thick grass in hindsight i probably should have chosen a little bit better of an area uh, rather than this but yeah as you can see the even uh, just it just is like halfway deep even bottoming out uh, so this part i had to move it entirely but once it's off uh, onto a little bit thinner grass uh, where it is able to move on its own power as you can see it once again continues moving and it will reach the waypoint and this is the third and final waypoint as I mentioned it will quite soon reach uh, just let it move on its own as you can see it's correcting and here there it is it has now reached no never mind it's still going uh, yeah just doing its own thing correcting as it goes and there it is I believe that is the final yep that's it it has now finally reached the third waypoint last waypoint this is the end of the uh, yeah that's basically it so that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and comment down below any future project ideas or if you need any help as always all the code will be linked down in the description uh, yeah I, i'll see you guys next time bye